on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to Cheesy's Garage. What we have here today is a Duran Duran Eater Neo 300 with a 268.8 watt hour, 84,000 milliamp LIFE PO4 lithium battery. The AC output is 300 watts, 600 max. We're going to see if that's a pure sign. A USB A port does 5 volt, 3 amp, 9 volt, 2 amp, 12 volt, 1 and a half amp, and a maximum of 18 watts. Another USB A, 5 volt, 3 amp, max 15 watts. A USB C port, which has a maximum of 60 watts, 5 volt, 3 amp, 9 volt, 3 amp. 12 volt 3 amp, 15 volt 3 amp, and 20 volt 3 amp. Cigarette lighter, 8 amp max, 120 watts. You can do a 100 watt solar panel input on this, 18 or 20 volts. It has about 3,500 charging cycles. Kitty! So if you're looking for an inexpensive, smaller, portable power supply, this may be for you just in time for the holiday season. The user's manual, 16 pages, two year warranty. This is your warranty card. You can extend the warranty to five years when registering as a user on their official website. So you can get up to five years on this. That's pretty good. So we have our charger, which is a 19 volt, 3.42 amp, 64.98 watt output, 115 volts AC. They give a USB-C, 60 watt. They give you a solar panel connector. So you can hook up a solar panel. This has MPPT charging and 12 volt charger. Of course it has a light on it. So this isn't powering up, so I assume the battery is too low. So let's charge this up. It's totally dead. It's 224 right now. We'll leave this to charge for a while. So it's a little big for a stocking stuffer, but be a good gift, that's for sure. A few moments later. Fully charged. Took about six hours. Let's check the dimensions on this. Looks like ten and a quarter inches wide. About eight inches tall. About six and a half deep. Let's see what the weight is. Seven pounds, 3.4 ounces. Let's see what this thing can do. Long press on the DC power turns the USB and the DC on. Long press on the AC turns the AC on, of course. 60 hertz, 110 volts. Looks like you can charge it while it's on. I doubt it's going to run this heater. It has one AC outlet. Even on low, this is, what is this on low? Hmm, I don't remember. It's 1500 watts on high, so probably 500 on low. I doubt it'll run it. That's fan only. Nope. Automatically resets itself, which is nice. I figured this would be too many watts. This does not have wireless charging on the top. Fast charging. The display does not tell you what the wattage draw is. But at this price point, you don't expect too much. It's a no frills, basic 300 watt portable power supply. 600 watt peak. We'll try the standard USB-A port. That's standard charging. Now we'll try the QC 3.0. Fast charging. Let's see what kind of sine wave this puts out. Wow, it's pretty nice. Pretty clean sine wave. 110 volts, 59.88 hertz. That looks good. 
with the 268 watt hour battery that's in it. It should run about 50 minutes at 300 watts. So to shut this unit down, it's just a short press. And it'll go to sleep. Let's see what I can try on a 12 volt. I got this old igloo refrigerator. Yeah, this thing's old. This is an old Peltier Junction. A little low voltage circuit board I put on here years ago. I'll have to look up the wattage. I don't remember. 55 watts max. Oh yeah, it's pretty cold. I haven't used this in years. It's only 55 watts at 12 volts. 4.6 amps. That's rated at 8 amps. 120 watts, 8 amp rated. It says it's putting out 12.2 volts. It's dirty in there, don't look. And this, my Peltier Junction failed. It's all hermetically sealed, so I had to cut through this. Change the Peltier Junction in that. It does still output while it's charging. The PlayStation uses 2.1 amps. That's roughly near 200 watts. Let's see if it'll run it. I'm not even sure if this thing's gonna run. Wow, look at that. Who's got one of these old PS3s laying around, huh? So I plug this in at 125. It's 134. Hmm, there's something in there. Ratchet and clank. Geez, it's so old. It's set for 1080i. I'm gonna have to go in and set it for 1080p. File system's corrupt. It's been sitting on a shelf for a good four years. Now, if we're going to be able to get this going, boys. That Peltier Junction cooler's still going. I haven't even used a bar on this. It's been over 20 minutes. Well, we use one bar. It's 150 almost. It's 149. Turns out this is my son's PS3. <laughs> I'm a PC gamer, not a console gamer. Well, apparently, it still works. So it's a portable power station. Look at the graphics. You only use one bar. It's not even warm. Yeah, I guess we'll leave this running for a while, huh? It's got some cool vents on the end here. We'll come down and check it in a little bit. A few moments later. 249. Got two bars left on the battery. Just slightly warm. Of course, if you're gaming, it's going to be pulling more wattage, but... This is still running. It says 11.7 .7 volts. So yeah, this is probably one of the most inexpensive 300 watt portable power supplies that you could find. But if you need something just basic, one AC power outlet, your USBs. Three twelve. Not much left. Oh, it's on the last leg. No, well, that's it. 317. 12 volts still running, so we'll leave it going. So apparently, the DC will stay longer than the AC, which makes sense. There's 11.6 volts. Well, it just kicked off. Fought the good fight. 349. Nice and light for camping. Little big for a backpack, but it's on the smaller size of these 300 watt portable power units. So not bad. If you're looking for a no frills portable power supply, this might be for you. 300 watt, 600 surge, 268.8 watt hour. A little light on the back. Weighs 7.76 pounds. It'll get you in the ground floor of portable power units. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com.
Thanks for watching.